All right. Oh, jeez. All right, what's up, y'all? Today, probably a little confused because I said the Band 12 series was done, but um, I mean, it is. This, is, this isn't going to be the same series, but as you can see, Back in here on Lake Manitowoc, it is extremely cold. It's been a while since the last video, and it's about I'd give it like five right now. I'm pretty sure it's around five right now. Uh, we're back in the crappie spot. You know, hopefully go dangle up some crappie here real quick. See what we can do with that. I just shattered my phone too. I didn't get that on camera. That was super nice. As you can see, just absolutely murked it. So that's how my morning's been going. But uh, let's get into it because it's cold, and I don't know how long I want to be here. All right, first off, I'm starting off with a. Uh, I think it's like a one one sixteenth ounce. It's either a one sixteenth or one sixty fourth ounce jig head. Super super tiny, and a white crappie jig, white crappie tube. I've never uh, really fished up here this time of year. I have once, and I caught a five pound smallie, so that's hopefully good news. But I really haven't caught anything else up here this time of year, so gonna be kind of experimental. I'm assuming it's gonna be all about the jerk baits for the bigger fish. Oh heck, I think I got one. I got something, that's for sure. That's a crappie, that's a big crappie. That's surely, I don't think that's a crappie. If that's a crappie, that's a freaking giant crappie. What are you? Oh, it's a nice small one. I forgot to mention, I'm also using four pound test right now, so. This can be not good. Oh wow. And he's in. Oh, that's a nice small. All right, well, this uh, little small jaw guy, barely hooked. Hook was like, just dang on there. There you go, it's not a, oh sheesh, it's not a bad one. I'm gonna get a little, get a little, oh wow. I'm gonna get a little weight on him. Jordan lend me a scale because I think I broke mine. So shout out, to, shout out to Jordan. Channel link in description. Go spam, uh, leave his Instagram too. Go spam his Instagram and tell him to freaking upload. Oh, okay. All right, he's like, he's like 314. That's not bad. About a four pounder. Four pound chamomile. First fish today on the white tube jig. Not what we were going for, but I am certainly okay with it. All right, we're gonna let Junior go because he's been ripping my fingers apart for the last minute and a half, so. See you later. Really? Okay. Thought I had some action. Maybe not. Really don't know where the crappies are going to be this time of year. Like I said, I'm kind of, I kind of don't know. Don't know nothing. But hopefully, I was just, I just came back here because I thought they might be somewhere around the same area because I've never seen them on the whole lake before. Hopefully they still around the area. Well, I just lost something. I don't know what it was, but I just lost something good. Not gonna say much, but it felt like a freaking crappie. No, no, I'm sitting here just dead stick in the tube. Well, I was texting and what do you know? Something comes up and slams it. There we go. What are you? What are you? It's another stinky small jaw. Ow. Right into the hand. Hello stinky small jaw guy. Come here. Stop. Stop. Half pound. Not even half pounder. Freaking quarter pounder. I'm gonna try for a few more minutes here, and then I'm gonna go over and think. I think I'm gonna go over to the other side of this this golf course here and pitch a shatter app because it's cold, and they like that when it's cold. Hoping for my PB walleye this trip. That would be that would be nice. I don't know why. But I'm thinking this this colder weather might bring some of the, the bigger walleyes out. I, I don't. I literally don't know nothing. So don't don't take my word for it. Just gonna think. We just pulled up to the spot. It, it's been cold. It took me like 45 minutes to get here because I didn't want to drive very fast. Let's hope we can find a walleye or something. Well, 
got something. Oh, jeez. There it is. It's freaking spinning. Oh, it's Mr. Bike. Hello, sir. What do you do? I don't think I want to put the net on him because then that means... There we go. Oh, God. Well, there's Mr. Pike himself. Hello. There you go. Well, there's the first pike in the morning. Actually, it's the first pike I've caught up here in the fall. That's pretty neat. He came off the Shatterat OG silver on 15 pound uh, monofilament. I can't really say much because I'm cold as heck right now, but here he is. Not a, not a big one by any means, but we're out here to get bigger, so see you later, Junior. Oh! What happened there? What the heck? That was sick. Hopefully the Hopefully the GoPro got that. Mr. Pike jumped completely out of the water. Another fish right there. Oh, it's a, is that a walleye? I believe that's a walleye. Oh my god, it is. Oh, that's my PB for sure. Oh my god. Oh wow. All right. Oh geez, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> but this is definitely my PV wall. What the heck? It's the first morning up here. Got the worst weather ever, and I've already done the Manitowoc slam. Hey, Mr. Wally, you gotta get this net out of your mouth. There we go. Yeah, that's definitely my PV. Oh my god, PV freaking wall on the first morning here. Are you kidding me? Actually, I forgot to mention I switched baits. I switched up to this uh, white curly tail grub. I've just been hopping it, reeling it. I got a bite on the straight reel, so I figured that I would keep straight reeling. And what do you know? Mr. Walleye right here. Let me get Mr. Walleye back though. Nice walleye, PV walleye. See you later, Junior. Sheesh. Oh, I'm freaking, I'm warm now. Oh, I'm warm now. Oh, jeez. Get ahead in right now, get some breakfast, get some coffee, and then get back in here once it's hopefully a little warmer, which I'm being hopeful by saying that because I don't think it's going to happen. All right, it is after breakfast, after lunch, went in town, got some Got some little night crawler. Apologize for the motor noises, but we're gonna skirt to the spot real quick. Else it's gonna rain on us, and that's not fun, especially when it's five degrees. But what the H? Anyways, right now I'm, caught, I'm pulling up to a ridge. Hopefully, gonna, I'm gonna be targeting mainly walleyes. I don't know how that's gonna go. I'd be happy with bass or pike too. But I'm hoping for more walleyes because of this weather. Hoping the mondos will come out. Kitchak, pull it up to the ridge, the old rocky ridge. Gonna start off with that curly tail. <laughs> start off with the curly tail I was using earlier. Let's see how that goes. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Why do I keep missing fish? Bet they're all walleyes. It's definitely all walleyes. Watch, I'm gonna catch a bass now that I said that. <laughs> what did I tell you? It be the old small jaw. Well, there's the first fish, this little second trip here. He's got a gnarly scar on his belly. Looks like Mr. Pike took a swing at him. See you later. We need, we need Big Bertha, not you. We ain't need you. Oh yeah, new spot. There's the old spot. Right there is the old spot. Here's the new spot. I figured that maybe these rocks, I mean, not that there's been any sun at all, but maybe some of these rocks are holding some kind of heat still that maybe the fish are clinging on to. I could just be making shit up, but it's a theory and it's the only one I got right now. So that's what we're rolling with. She got wavy in here real quick. Camera was off and I just lost like a freaking four pound smallmouth. Oh my god. 
Just not paying attention. Wait, what do I have? What? How? What happened? What? What kind of fish is this? Is that a largemouth? What the heck? I am so confused. I, I doubt he even swiped at that neither. Because that's in the back. And I'm on a rocky ridge right now. This is not typically where largemouths hang out. Sorry about that, buddy. There's a nice, healthy largemouth. I mean, geez, about a pounder, pound and a half. Not big, but also not bad. First, like, actually decent largey of the trip. Super healthy. Get him back. Sorry about snagging you, Junior. Well, that's nice. You might have swiped at it, but I doubt it. That was, like, in the back, in the back. Like, I just wacky rigged that largemouth. Oh my god, that was something really big. Are you serious? No. I was so not ready for that. Oh, I was so not ready for that. That was like huge. <laughs> oh, I have something. I have something. I don't know what it is, but I have something. It is a pike. That's not a bad freaking pike there. Hey, stop. Hey, hey. Alright, well, okay. Here's, here's stinky. Little oh, two pounder. Little oh, two pounder. I mean, it's, I think that's the biggest one of the, the trip here. About 20 inches. Not a bad little junior. I mean, whatever that was in there was definitely a lot bigger, but it's a pike. Can't complain. See you later. All right, well, I think I'm gonna end today off here. That last strip did not go very well, and it's getting pretty late, so uh, I'm gonna go in. There's, there's a straw wrapper in my pocket. I'm gonna go in before it starts uh, raining on me again. Uh, I should be able to make another video tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully get on some some Mondo. Seeing that large, you makes me want to go back to that one spot where I caught the freaking tanker. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you aren't already. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. As soon as I turned the freaking camera off, I swear to god, I didn't even get to the bottom. Oh, nice little small jaw. We'll see you guys in the next episode.
freaking giant coffee. Am I rolling? Okay, I'm gonna roll. What are you? Oh, it's a nice smolly. Nice smolly. Forgot to mention, we're using four pound test right now, so this can be not good. Oh wow! And he's in. Oh, that's a nice smolly. Oh, sheesh. Okay, boys. Well, first fish of the day here. It's a nice, it's a tank smolly. Let me get off this point here. 